Okay, here is my super quick rundown on setting up Google Drive to do your store exchange. <clears throat> I am in a headquarters store here. I go to store exchange. On the configuration page, you will see all of your stores, any of them that are on Intuit Exchange, you should switch to network file transfer. Now, in this situation, each of these stores has their own Google Drive which is a little more complicated. The simplest setup is to install the same Gmail account, Google Drive, on every store so that you have the same set of folders. <clears throat> In this one, we have set up Google Drive, and once you install the Google Drive app, then uh, from you want to download the Windows app for Google Drive it will install a G Drive and so inside the G Drive and my drive we set up a folder called POS Exchange now what we had to do in this case because multiple stores have different Gmails for their different Google Drives is we had to share this folder from one Google Drive to another and we'll, I'll talk more about that in a moment Essentially what I did here is I took the drive letter path for the POS exchange folder and I configure every one of these stores to exchange through that folder using the network file transfer method. And then also you have to hop over to options here and put it in the process in folder as well, same folder. And that is how that is set up for every one of these stores on the headquarters. Then on the remote store, we go into, uh, well, first of all, you want to check your Google Drive. And in this case, I had to share from one Google Drive to another that same folder because we had multiple Google Drive uh, accounts here. And so that ended up with a really strange path for the shortcut that was shared among all these. What you should normally have to do is if they're all logged into the same Gmail, you'll have the pretty much the same exact folder, which was G slash my drive slash POS exchange. So keep that in mind. If you're logged into the same Gmail for every store, then it's way easier. So we go into the file preferences and this is on the remote store now company and it's very similar you go to store exchange this one is only exchanging with headquarters so you switch it to network file transfer you'd hit configure and if you were all on the same Google Drive it would be the same path G slash my drive slash store exchange this is just a bunch of gibberish because it is on separate shared Google Drives and then the same here you put in um, now on this one I'm gonna have to copy over this shortcut path but it would be the simpler one if they're on the same Google Drive and that's it that's all you gotta do is change those settings and then Back on headquarters here. So that remote store is store number five, and I'm going to go ahead and send store number five through the Google Drive. And there it goes. It it went ahead and got done sending. I'm gonna hit receive. It's gonna find the file in the Google Drive. We process in, updating all the inventory. All right, the remote store is done, kind of swallowing the info. We close, we can hit send files. I'm going to mention also that you don't need to change any scheduling. If you had the schedule going on in the middle of the night, that, ooh, that was real quick there. Hopping back to the headquarters server over here, I'm going to hit store, receive. Now it's not quite instantaneous, but even there it was just one second and it was on the smaller file there, it went really quick. But you don't need to change any scheduling that you had in place with the Intuit Exchange method. It will still do it through the Google Drive on schedule. So there we have it. 
and this seems to fix up some of the receipt issues and transferring issues we were seeing recently. All right, thank you.